so we were supposed to go and see Luke Combs tonight, um, but somehow I had the date wrong. It was actually July 20, not June 20. So um, luckily we found out before we actually showed up at the venue. Um, and checked yesterday and saw. So instead of that, we were sitting down on the couch after putting the girls down to bed and uh, M started watching Trish Papas and she was at IHOP or Hi IHOB, I guess now, um, trying the new burger. And then she also had a really awesome looking uh, appetizer sampler. And so I said, let's go get one right now. And so that's what we did. We ordered it. And I'm gonna go pick it up and bring it back. Um, but it looks awesome. I'm not even really that hungry, but you know what? Screw it, we're being spontaneous. All right, so we're back. I didn't realize that I had a massive food stain on my shirt. <laughs> it's appropriate. What is her last name? Is it Papus? Papus? Papus. I think I said Papus. The appetizer sandwich. <laughs> we are so susceptible to you. We wanna do something fun. Mm. to fill the void because we thought we had a concert coming and we were so like, we were talking about it oh, nonstop oh. last week, like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see Luke Combs next week. But here we are. Can you talk about what's on this burger? I think there's like hash browns on it and maybe a fried egg. There's a fried egg on there, bacon, cheese, a little hash brown patty underneath. I hob. All right, House of Burgers, what you got? Mm, not bad. I've never had a burger with an egg on it before. I've been into those lately. It's pretty yummy. I mean, that's a good burger. It is. Wait, did you take a bite of a chicken strip? Uh, no, no, not yet. Did this yeah. have a bite out of it? I don't know, maybe I didn't, I forgot. Mm. Good chicken strip. That's a good burger. Good chicken strip. Mm. Kind of flies in the face of our not snacking after dinner. We don't ever do this, so. Like, this never happens in our world these days. Mm. And the spontaneity of it all. You're more of a burger guy, bub. What do you think? Love the bun. Toppings are good. Bacon's the right consistency. Bun well, looks greasy AF. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's buttery. Okay. Um, burgers, yeah, is average. The meat patty, I think, mm -hmm. is average. But you think it's a good, like, idea? Mm. I think this House of Burgers thing is just a big gimmick. Oh man, we're, our burgers are so good, we should be called the International House of Burgers. Mm-hmm. Really, they're just, they're just decent. Hello vlog. We're out here at our old stomping grounds, Pinch Penny Pub, having I, a date night. I thought we were just taking a picture. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's the fun fountain. That's gonna go potty. I, gotta, I, gotta go, I, have, to, I have to go potty. Somebody has had a few drinks. This is dangerous. What? Huh? This is the uh, part that Ulta has uh, carved out for the gentlemen among us. You, you need the beard conditioner. I have not conditioned my beard ever. Work, work. So we were just approached, or I was just approached, and they asked if I was doing okay, and I said, I think so. I really don't have any say in the matter. That's it, that's the whole story, I think. That wasn't much. Of a friend of mine. Yeah! <laughs> Last night after date night, we went to Ulta. Yeah. And um it's kind of a throwback, you know. We always used to go out and have dinner and then we'd go to like Walgreens or Walmart or somewhere we could go through. Well we went to Ulta and Well now we have a nice, nice posture by the way. Like what? <laughs> okay. Oh I always um, sit. Just get comfy. I mean, Dude, what, Mitty's already what, doing the haul. Anyway, um, yeah, we've had a lot of stuff come in actually throughout the week that I, I'm sorry everybody, but I kind of had to deal with and unbox. <laughs> I had to get going with them. I had to get, start trying. And I thought we had a system. It's okay though. We've got a couple things for Bub to talk about. One is this Ulta haul. One is my mm. Sephora play box. Right. So, so fine. and the play box tease is really on the verge with me because I was not that impressed with my last one. I'm about ready to cut mm. it off and I think this box will tell the tale. If mm. I'm impressed with this box, I will let it keep going. If I'm not, I'm cutting it off. I must say your eye makeup is just really killing it today. I don't know if everybody's really? seen this or not. 
The first thing is the, just a big ass sponge. <laughs> I had never seen one this big. This is why I've never purchased this off the website because I would never have the scope of how right. massive this was. And, and I, something I heard, about a it. Bird told me that these expand, so that you're gonna have like a, basically a small Nerf football. <laughs> I know. To, to do what you need to do. And it's a body sponge though, so you can apply it to various parts. Of the right. Body I could use well. like my liquid highlights and like get right. them all over. And I'm just I'm kind of we excited could use about this to it. Make my arms look super ripped. What? Oh, like, like stuffing? Contour, so I've got like, oh, I thought you were gonna like stuff the sponge no, under your shirt. No, like you could just, you know, make it. You want me to do muscle contouring no, on you? You can make your yeah. like, boobs look bigger. I assume you could apply the same concept to my biceps. I'm not sure how you know about all this, but that's fine. Um, we'll move on. Next. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, super dope chocolate bar, Makeup Revolution London. Rose gold chocolate. Yeah, so. Chuck a lot. It's really cool packaging because it looks like you got, you know, just like a chocolate bar that melted out in the sun or something. It left in a hot car. There we go. Signature oh. shade uh, legend. It looks really pretty. Dirty rich. I'm not a fan of clear plastic sheets, so that won't live very long in my collection, but I got in there and swatched them a little bit on the way home last night. <laughs> They look good. I love the packaging. There were a lot of ladies uh, scoping out the Makeup Revolution section while we were there the other night. There so. were. It was all clogged up. <laughs> all clogged. All clogged up. It's hard to get through the aisle. Here you go, Leslie. You can play with this one now. Oh, look at how she's... You just playing with the, with the stuff we were already gone through. Finger sponge. So the small. finger sponges. Yeah. I like that idea. I've I'm never gonna... used a sponge like that. And I've wanted to. No, you don't want it? Okay. You're gonna have the finger sponges. You want the finger sponges? It's Ulta brand, by the way. I guess that's kind of a generic store, it's the brand. store brand. Store brand. Yeah, and they have some good sponges. They have a history of doing good sponges mm, for me, so. Okay, so then we got a Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. And I don't know a lot about concealer brushes, but what strikes me is that it's a very short, very short bristle. To me, that says got a lot of control. Exactly, yeah, precision. And then, what I really like about this brush is it looks like that's kind of a tacky rubber end, so really good grip. Yes. So I feel like the performance of this brush will be pretty good. This was a practical purchase that I can use and I don't regret it. My first impression of this brush is that it's awesome. I haven't taken it out of the package <laughs> or used it. Ooh. This is a questionable purchase. Peach punch, cleansing water, no wash type. It's like one of those micellar waters. I think mm. I had you using one for a while. Remember uh, you put it on a cotton so pad? Just to sort of yeah. the face. Yeah. Would you wash your face with something else and then finish with this? A lot of those kinds of waters claim to take off your makeup, but. Mm. I don't buy that. Oh you like, yeah, you this. You have to look at this in the mirror or something? Eritrea? It's my Ray Ray. How do you read just, that? And what am I missing? Just take my word for it. Like, oh, you're supposed mama. to look at it in the mirror or something? I know that that's a YouTuber, but I'm not super familiar with her channel. Ray, and then Ray backwards. Mommy. Yeah. So it's my Ray Ray. Mommy. Yes, it. baby. Uh, so that's pretty dope. You got, I like the the uh, fold I like the packaging. configuration. Mocha chai, brownie bite. That palette makes me hungry. You know what it makes me want to do? What? Eat the entire McDonald's dollar menu. <laughs> I meant to go uh, in for that. That's that was a legit need. medium beige bare minerals. I wanted to try bare minerals um, powder foundation again, so I got that. Yeah, that's cool. and, ooh, <laughs> and, and Visibobble, that is what you would like to refer to as an impulse purchase. You want to show dad? No. No. I have Invisibobbles already, and I love them. And they're like a ponytail holder. And these, I think these are like teeny tiny ones. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to work those in, but I will. Color correcting liquid concealer. Got a nice pink shade. Peach. So, oh, it's peach. It's not pink. It's not going to match your skin tone. Right. I find peachy shades work really well on discolored, like dark circles or mm. by melasma, like oh, okay. any kind of discoloration, dark spots. It has a little better effect on it than just a regular like beige concealer. I don't know why, but <laughs> you found the receipt. Four thousand dollars. What was it really? One hundred twenty-nine. Most of that was the peach punch. Which I <laughs> no. So this is a ten dollar a month like Sephora's subscription box thing. I get 
50 insider points. Yeah, they'll give you some points, and this whole thing will tell you actually the ins and outs of what's in the bag, but if we uh, want to be surprised... I feel like you could probably use this bag for some things. Want to reach one and grab in? Grab something. Oh, what do we got? What do we got, huh? Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. Okay, hair product. You want me to put some on your hair? Oh. <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet today, so I'll see what we do with this. Ooh, it smells fantastic. Me, me. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Here, well, you want to see? Oh, yeah, you, Betty wants some too, though. She said, me, me, me. You ready, Betty? Good again. Good again. Oh, yes. You're an animal. Okay, she says, I want to see what else is in here. Okay, yeah, let's get another one. Oh, what do we got here? Clinique, take the day off makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips. I do like that stuff. Can you shake it? <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Ah! <laughs> shake, shake, shake. I don't hate that that's in there. That might be worth the ten dollars in and of itself. All right, we'll see. They're doing okay so far. Give that. And this is based on preferences, Ooh. bub. Like I do a little survey, oh, and so it's kind of like they kind of know my skin type and skin like, problems. Kind of like Club W. Soul Day. That's the bum bum Yenary. cream. Chimera. Love it, flaunt it. I didn't oh, love that stuff. Bum, it kind of. Is, is it for your butt? Well, I mean, you could put it on your butt, but you can put it like all over your body, like lotion. As I recall, it irritated me a little bit. But I've got a little bit of a sunburn. Let's we'll see what this does for me. Oh, you want some too? <laughs> Mimi, Mimi. Oh, Bill. Oh, yeah. So basically, Bub's just gonna take I'm all just, the stuff. I'm in. Subscribe in me. Oh, that's fantastic. You love it? Yeah. I have that scent in a spray that I wear sometimes. Does it seem familiar at Yeah, all? maybe that's why I like it so much. Hey guys. What up? Are we done? Wait, no, there was this oh, okay. that she pulled out and that. And there's one more in there too. Marajo, Marajo. Deep butter and nourishing cleansing cream. Okay, we're never not gonna heard take, of that. We're not gonna take that out because it's in a single. Melted matte, oh, some Too Faced, Oh, what shade is it? Matte, long wearing lipstick. This is pretty. I like some of those. This thing probably costs more than ten dollars by itself, doesn't it? Queen B. I Queen don't B? think I have that shade. No, that's pretty good. Biddy loves handling beauty products. Yeah. Oh, Last there's one. another thing. What's that? This is a Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. <gasps> Oh, by the way, everybody, I showed in a previous vlog, I gave some of that to my mom, and she did use it, and she did really like it. So I may just stock her up again by giving her that other sample, because I have the full size already. All right, well. Uh, this was a success, I think. We'll let Sephora like Play it. Box hang I on another. That smells fantastic. You can have the my lotion and the hair cream. Mom can have the powder. Uh, Biddy can have that as a teething device. Mm -hmm. But my issue isn't normally like the value because I do no, feel like the they give me plenty. It's just like, I don't know. I always wind up getting some things I already have or, mm -hmm. and I, the fun of it to me seems to be like, I want to try stuff I haven't used. I've heard but... they do this for golf. They have like a little golf box. Here, look at these. Bear. Bear. Doggy. Doggy. Bear. Tiger. Okay, this is what that liquid lipstick looks like, by the way, that um, Too Faced kind that was in the play box. Queen Bee, I believe it is. A lot more purpley than I was expecting, but that's okay. It, it really coordinates with my eye look. We are about to embark on a vlog topic that Bub has been proposing literally for weeks. It was my original idea. And then Don't hit the motorcycle. That would be bad. Somebody's selling their swan. Somebody's selling their flamingo. Know, That's a, their, their swan. That's a flamingo. That's a pink swan. Uh, um, okay. No, I had no part in this idea. This was all bub. I don't know why he wanted to do it. Like, why were you really... Did you hear something new crazy. about the dollar no, menu? It's a crazy idea. I don't know. We've been watching a lot of Shane Dawson and uh, <laughs> Trisha. Trisha and what's the other? And, uh, Ryland. Uh, no, the. the, the oh, guy like Garrett. The Oh, Bub just likes Garrett best because a few people have told him he looks a little bit like Garrett. Well, I don't so. Know if that's a, um, exactly. 
accurate. I've pulled up on my phone because sometimes, you know, you know when you go through a drive through and you feel like the menu, like they're holding back on you? I hate uh, that. Hardee's is the worst. When you go through so a drive through and they leave stuff off. No, so Hardee's is the worst. They've got their little stickers, you know, they're like two for three or they're whatever for whatever's. And then you get to the On actual, the actual building. Yeah, they, they stick them on their windows, but then when you get to the actual, you know, menu order, nowhere to be found. Yeah. And, and I think that's Old by Mac. design. They suck you in and then you're like, I don't know what the deals are. And then yeah. so you order the number two. Right. So uh, we're going to do this thing and we're probably not going to finish everything. Every menu except for the breakfast items. Yeah, we're not going to do the, the breakfast. The are we getting close? We're getting closer. I think I see it floating. Kid knows how to build drama. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, just a second, please. Yeah, put the dollar menu on. I think it's not. Can we get a cheeseburger Happy Meal with no pickle and no onion? With apple slices and fries with an apple juice to drink. And then another Happy Meal with a chicken nugget. And then one triple cheeseburger. A new classic chicken sandwich. Um, one bacon McDouble. A two-piece chicken tenders. And then a cheeseburger, a McChicken, and a large Diet Coke. Thank you very much. So we actually ended up adding a large fry. Didn't have fries on the dollar menu. They didn't have any sign of the dollar menu. No, we had to pull it up. We had to pull it up on the phone. So like Incredibles is the uh, toy theme. Did you watch The Incredibles? No, I've never seen it. Did you? It is a new movie coming out. Right. Right. Do you want to see the first Incredibles first? So you know what to expect from the second one? I got a lap full of one, two, and three dollar menu here. <laughs> okay. Here's what you're going to get if you get the one, two, and three dollar items. Um, not including the breakfasty thing. So that's that new classic chicken sandwich, a McChicken, chicken, mm -hmm. triple cheeseburger, single cheeseburger, and the bacon one. What do you want to try first? I want to try this chicken sandwich mm. that I've never tried. It has some <coughs> kind of a, it's got pickles and a sauce that's kind of like it. Chicken sandwich, you don't normally think of pickles. Or at least I don't. Didn't they do like they some kind of southern, like southern style? style I think that's kind of what it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite enough sauce on it for me, but I'm going to also try one of the chicken strips. Don't hate it. The chicken strips look like this. I guess these are those new buttermilk. They just give you two. Um, was it a two dollar item? I think it was a two dollar item. It should be a one dollar item. Mm, they're good. I like them. Mm -hmm. Both into this triple. I have no interest in eating the triple, triple cheeseburger. Tea. What do you think? Not too shabby. I'd eat that. I feel like you need a t-shirt that says not too shabby because I think you say it a lot. <laughs> Merch. <laughs> Merch. I also honestly don't have much interest myself. I, I'm not a huge fan of bacon on burgers. I feel like you always got to really gnaw into them with your teeth. Mm. But I'm, this has the, it's not like a barbecue thing, it's just a bacon double, bacon right. McDouble. That's bacon what it's McDouble. called. See, I love bacon, but I agree on a burger. It's you hard. Gotta be very, I'm going to go back to the chicken sandwich. Very vigilant about how you put that on there. So I'm cutting loose. I'm going to eat until I'm about to pass out. Well, you got to tell people what you're about I'm, to do. I'm starting a fast <laughs> right after this. He's literally, he's not just saying that to be funny. He's it's 6 p.m., so in one hour, no food for 72 hours. Somehow you got turned on to Tim Ferriss' new book, Tools of Titan. Brene Brown tweeted about Brene it. Brene Brown. And uh, so she said, hey, you need to get this. So I got it and I started reading it, and I've read mm -hmm. some of his stuff in the past. Um, but one of the <coughs> chapters is on fasting. Okay, fine. Anyway, continue. <laughs> we good. And uh, kind of resonated with me. I've done I've done some 24-hour fasts before. 
mm -hmm. going a full day without eating anything. And this book recommends like three to five days. So, I read the same chapter, but... So I'm going to try the three. I don't feel compelled to do this. <laughs> I'm going to try the three. One of the things that they say it does is, is reduce joint pain and inflammation. And I've got a lot of that. Both my knees, I, I get a lot of joint pain. My ankles. Um, both my shoulders have quite a bit of pain. I have a decent amount of back pain. Which I've, I've done a lot with yoga in the last you know, <clears throat> 45 days or so to try to, 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 try to dial that back. But I've in my hands. I get a lot of just joint pains in all my fingers. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna see if this does anything for that. And I figure since he's gonna do it and I'm not really gonna do it, I'll see like, I'll just see how he responds out. to it. And maybe, just maybe I'll try it too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, see, there's that messy bacon. Now let's also mention here, a McChicken. I, I like a McChicken. McChicken was kind of a big pregnancy craving actually um, with Biddy. Like Biddy is probably, 60% McChicken sandwich, just in her makeup. Um, so one of those is in here. I will have a bite. It's very nice. It's going to town on that. It's good. I mean, a McChicken is a McChicken. It's not like a freaking delicacy, but I think when you're craving it, when you're craving salt, I like the little bit of spiciness that it has. There's more spice to me, even with that kind of whatever sauce that was, that was not Big Mac sauce on this Southern, or this um, classic chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. It was some kind of like, it's a little bit tangy, you know, but it's definitely not Thousand Island. But there's more spice on the McChicken than the classic chicken sandwich. McChickens and double cheeseburgers were on the dollar menu up until what, about 2005-ish? I'll take your word for it on that one. And I'd either get a McChicken and a double cheeseburger or a McChicken and two double cheeseburgers at McDonald's. That was like kind of my go-to order. It's like three bucks. The only thing we haven't bitten into yet is just your classic cheeseburger, which to me, I find this more appealing than the triple. I just, mm -hmm. there's something about that. I don't, I just don't like that much, that many patties. Mm -hmm. I would also, I would also often get the uh, number two, which is two cheeseburgers. I'm not like, Starting to get full. And we've got to, This is what we have left currently. A lot. You said we had to finish this. Did I say that? Yeah, you said it was a challenge. We have to finish the, the whole dollar menu. Are we really? Uh oh. Battery. That's what she said. We're not going to finish this. No. It's just, we're no. not going to be able to do that. Um, but of what you tried that you hadn't yet gotten, because, you know, a McChicken is a classic, a single cheeseburger is a classic, but of the other things, like what would you order again? I'm liking this triple cheeseburger. Okay. I liked the chicken sandwich. I thought that was actually pretty flavorful. Oh, but it wasn't quite as spicy as the McChicken. But if oh, yeah. you want that different kind of, I don't know, there's a little pickly vibe on yeah. this. I can't put my finger on what the sauce I can't either. I like their chicken strips. I think they're pretty good. I believe you. Oh, hi, Biddy. <laughs> Bub hasn't eaten all day. I have not. It's what, 3.30 in the afternoon now? Yeah, I have, it's, we're coming on 24 hours without eating. Yeah. Luckily, our last meal, I gorged myself with McDonald's dollar menu items, but doing okay. Doing your hair for our little girls' night we're gonna have. Let me see your rollers. Woo, pretty. I love your outfit. <laughs> Are you coloring? Uh, oh wow, look at those people. They're my friends. Oh. I got them just for you and dad. Oh, thank you. Hello, girls. <laughs> oh, I love shoes. Oh, these are little kid size shoes. What's over here? Here's the Avino section. Avino! 